It's a quiet day in scenic Tarrytown, New York. Hey, yo. Suddenly, you an albino? the calm is shattered by words that cut like a knife. Albino? Two young punks picking on a young man simply because he has a genetic condition. It's called albinism. Albinism is a rare genetic trait that affects approximately 1 in 17,000 Americans. It's something that causes you to have a lack of pigment. You've been called names? Oh, sure. Bullied? Yeah, of course. Chris, an actor, is not alone. There are countless others who tell similar stories. No wonder. For decades, Hollywood has depicted evil albino characters in no less than 68 movies. Which brings us to the question, what would you do if while walking down Main Street, you saw or heard this? I heard you guys were cannibals. Is that true? Step right up. We got a freak show. We got the albino show. The bullies, of course, are actors too. But no one else walking by knows that. Several people clearly hear what's going on, but hardly break their stride. They tell us later they were in a rush. Hey, ma'am. Others say they didn't notice or they simply didn't want to get involved. You're an albino freak. This woman says she was too scared to intervene, but was about to call 911. I felt that I'm just, you know, a female by myself, an older female, and who knows what they, what they would say or do to me. It was discouraging. I thought more people would stop. Yo, sit down, yeah. man. Freak, leave me alone. I'm not gonna leave you alone. Albino, freak show, albino. <laughs> Like National Geographic right here, man. We're beginning to wonder whether anyone will step in when suddenly this group of women circle around the bullies and their victims. What do you mean what's wrong with him? He's an albino. And so your point would be what? He's not normal. Uh, and you're normal? What about those eyebrows of yours? What about them? like you got caterpillars walking on your face. They work as a team. Why don't we go take a walk? Let's go. One of them is busy grabbing Chris's book back from the bullies. Just be not. Oh. And another calls the police. Of course, they already know we're here. The police are here. What's your look like? She sends him away with some tough parting words of her own. Bye, Albina. Bye, moron. And then she turns her compassion back to Chris. It happens to me a lot. That's not right. People are people, they're human. Everyone has feelings. Hi, ma'am. Oh, my God. How are you? I'm John Quinones. <laughs> He's five. He's an actor. I scared me to death. <laughs> I will stand up for anyone, an underdog, or someone who needs help. I might get hit in the process, but at least somebody's gotten saved from it all. <laughs> Our actor is in tears. Chris, so it really touched you. It did, because this is real. You know, her reaction is real. So, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, our bullies are back at it again. Let me see your book, hey. Albino. And along comes this feisty babysitter. Are you kidding Not me? normal. What? Are you kidding me? I don't. No, are you kidding me? No, he's an albino. Well, you're a jerk. <laughs> Listen, he's a freak of nature, and he probably shouldn't be in public. Listen to me. All right. I'm, I got a cell phone. I'm calling the cops. How's that? We're just How's gonna that? take a picture. Here, just take a picture. Come on. Look, look. Hey, listen, listen. Just Excuse me, I'm taking a picture. No, no, no. I'm calling the cops. I'm, I'm taking a picture. I'm yeah. calling the cops. No. You are one of the biggest jerks I think I've ever met in my life. Is a mean, All right. heartless human being. Get, get, get out of here. I just love you. Whatever. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Right. See you later. later. How could you walk by another human being and let two human beings do that? A lot of people do walk by. I don't know. Wasn't wasn't an option for me. Hey. And then we meet this man who slowly takes it all in. Can I please have my book? And then deliberately crosses the street to stand by Chris. <laughs> now watch this. He confidently puts his body directly in the line of fire. <laughs> Meanwhile, the bad behavior continues, prompting others to step in. Come on, look at him. Are you guys serious? I'm sorry? Seriously, you think it makes you a man to pick on people like that? Have you seen him? Well, there's nothing wrong with him. There's something wrong with you, though. Facebook, dude. Facebook. Facebook. Get your hands off of <laughs> Don't call the cops, man. We'll leave. We'll leave. Don't call the cops. Come on, man. Bullies don't like it when they're 
their odds are even. I just wanted to hang out with him and make sure nothing happened. What if they turned on you? I'm a black belt, so. I am too. Oh, like both of you. Well. In this case, you have to help. You can't stand by and just let them ruin somebody's life. Our town, I guess, you know, yep. so. I don't want stuff like this going on. Hey, what are you doing making fun of the We roll again, and now the bullies are about to that, meet man. their match. Get the out of here. Why doesn't he get out of here, man? He's the freak. What are you talking about? You're being mean. Do you understand? You're kind of freak. You want me to call the police? Time to step in before things get any more heated. This is part of the TV show, What Would You Do? Both of you were great. Your message to those who witness it and walk away and don't say anything. I have two kids, and I tell them constantly, do to other people what you would want them to do to you, because it's going to come back at you. As the day goes on, we had a girlfriend for Chris. And then out of nowhere, along comes Cindy Pruzak, who immediately jumps in and gives the boys a taste of their own medicine. What's that all about? At least, at least I'm a real man and I'm normal. Really? Yeah. This is an albino. He's a freak. You're so unattractive. You have a really, you have a really bad chin. You have bad skin. Terrible eyebrows. Your legs are shorter than your top of your body. I'm just, I'm just calling you out. You're hunched over. You have a really bad posture. I could probably like dip, kick your ass in a minute because you're small. That doesn't mean anything. She's beautiful. Yeah, and she just, is. I'm just she is. But why is she with the freak show? I'm just curious if he maybe he rocks in bed, dude. I'm John Quinones with ABC News. No. We're trying to see whether people would step in. How long did it take you to get involved and jump in? Oh, probably way too soon, but that's okay. <laughs> that's just me. Were you concerned that they might turn their anger on you? No. You saw him almost, I almost kicked him with the camera. <laughs> Why yeah. is it important? There's so many people that have no voice. I've seen your show. So sometimes if one person can say something, maybe it makes a difference. But it turns out, at the end of the day, most people were unwilling to speak up or get involved. Almost 200 people walked by our scenario, and only 14 of them said or did anything. What would you tell people who will see this and don't, don't get involved? You know, I mean, I think everybody has their own reasons, but I think that, you know, we should stand up for each other. Do something. You should. I think we should all do something.